All you mucky tradespeople, stay over there. And you smelly peasants, keep your distance. Yes, the only filthy people we're interested in is the filthy rich. Good morrow to you! Robin Hood? Robin Hood? That's my name. Don't worry, Tal. My merry friends and I were just thinking how awfully you went down with I think we should jolly well relieve you of some of your burden. Well, lighten the load of these weirdly travellers. Certainly, Robin, you're just my lady. Never. A lady as fair as yourself has no need to, for drinkings like these. Your natural beauty shines far more brightly. Don't be so ridiculous. This is no time for jokes. Quiet, gentlemen. Farewell, lovely lady. Have a safe journey. The sheriff will hear of this. He'll stretch your neck. But now let's stretch our stomachs. I'm starving, and we've got something to celebrate. The nation is divided, as you plainly see. The riches and all their riches, the poor in poverty. King Richard has gone to a faraway land, and justice is left in a brave outlaw's hand. He unlocks the was robbed of his title and home, leaving only forests in which to roam. His heart to a noble young lady belongs, but she's held by the sheriff and all hopes and has gone. Will this fortune now turn him from evil to good? No, he's doing his utmost is our Robin Hood to undo all the bad the sheriff stands for. He just robs some lyrics to give back to him. of this 
rabble and see what you can find out about Robin Hood's whereabouts. Here, take this. You'll be a coroner in no time. I have a cunning plan to rid myself of Robin Hood, the people's champion once and for all. Boo! Shut up or I'll have you in the stocks. My deputy should be able to find the whereabouts of Robin Hood's forest camp and his secret password. Meanwhile, I'll start chopping down all the trees in Sherwood Forest, leaving him no place to hide, and it will keep my castle in logs for years. Wyatt, when I have Robin Hood, I'll think of some exquisitely painful punishment for him that I will thoroughly enjoy inflicting, and it will be the star attraction at the party I plan to celebrate my victory. Sire, I heard you were looking for a jester. Indeed I am. I need a to keep a sense of humour with all this stress. Well, have you had that one at the fair of Lion Tamer? He was called Claude Bottom. That's oh. criminal. <laughs> I can see I'm going to have to think of some more taxes for you to pay me. How about taxing the air that we breathe? That's right, that's about the only thing left to tax. An excellent idea. I shall work on it. But for now, I'll just double the tax on grain. Robin Hood would never stand for that. Anyone found protecting that outlaw hood will suffer terrible punishment that I will thoroughly enjoy inflicting. Quiet! Warned you already! What are we going to do? He'll destroy the forest. We won't have any wood. We can't pay the taxes now. If he doubles the tax in grain, we're all starved. Why did King Richard have to go fight in the Crusades? It's not been the same since he left. I would love to get my hands on that sheriff when the guards aren't around him. Quiet, he's got spies everywhere. Pies? Why is the sheriff selling pies? What sort are they? Shepherd's pies or mince pies? Or cottage pies or Cumberland pies? Or sausage pies? Or, or sausage pies with diced onion and a delicate hint of parsley and sage? Or Sure, I guess, Robin. 
I just want them to know how much I miss him and I'll do anything to see him again soon. I long to see his face again and I'm sure he'll find a way. So Timber is the cry we hear as one by one the trees disappear. Poor animals are homeless left and birds no longer have a nest. He's leading the sheriff a merry old dance, writing wrongs when he gets a chance. Feeding the poor seems to tire, but what if he makes taxes far higher? Taxes for hire? We're for hire? Best taxes for miles. Only ten groats to sit one. Who called a cab? No one. Somebody must have done. Anybody here order a cab? No. Have you had enough of this, madam? I can take you home now for only five groats. Hear ye, hear ye, but tonight there will be, for your entertainment, a tournament. <laughs> the prize for the winner will be to kiss the hand of the fair Lady Marion and 200 groats. That's exciting what you could do with a little bit of entertainment around here. Someone should tell Robin! resist the tournament or the prize of kissing the hand of the fair lady Marion. No man could resist trying for such a prize. Meanwhile, I'll make those vile villagers sorry for defying me. I'll keep chopping down their precious forest and I'll squeeze every last drop of money out of them until they beg me for mercy. And of course, I won't show them any.
and gentlemen, we're an exciting event so far. Now it's time for the archery contest. Please may I remind you again to keep hold of all carrier pigeons for the duration of the performance and that management takes no responsibility at all for stray arrows landing randomly in body parts. Bring on the contestants. Hasn't it been exciting so far? Are you enjoying it? Yeah! How about you lot in cheap seats? Oh, there's our fans looking at simple bullseye backs stuff from Buxton. <laughs> That's a little wide of the mark, but I think he'll enjoy a nice roast pheasant. Here's our, here's our next contestant, Jeff the Archer. Now I think you'll find this boy has a double approach. No cheating now, Jeff. That's a miss, I think. Is there a doctor in the house? And finally for our mystery contestant, known only as Sherwood Sherwood Sherwood. Thank you. 
It doesn't appear to be nothing. You have a wonderful introduction. Too kind, my dear, too kind. You were so clever. No one told the world in your eyes. If you got it, formed it. I like everyone to see it's what you really are, which is why I thought I'd make you something special to add to your big party. I'll move you to take some measures of yourself. I'm sure that could be arranged. Or perhaps I should just make it Superman size. I'm sure that would fit, and not as it is big head. Just to be safe, put your arms up for a minute and I'll take some measurements. <laughs> there, hold on. What will it be like? That will be a surprise. Oh, I do like surprises. Good. We're going to get a very big one really soon. Alright, well. Oh, right, I'll go then. Be quick. Bring him here. I'll run with my love. Uh, Marion, I seem to have forgotten something. As the real winner of the tournament today, I think I deserve to kiss your lovely hands. Oh, I mean, I haven't wished you for hours. I'll take my chances. No, it really wouldn't be fair. But I insist. Our hero Robin Hood. 